Welcome back to Pleasant Pathways from Poppy. It's story time on April 21st, 2020. I have an old standby for you that I'm sure all of you older folks might recognize and you younger guys also uh, identify a great deal with this character, Winnie the Pooh, the grand and wonderful day. We're gonna read through this one, uh, talk about the characters a little bit, and just enjoy a little morning, uh, afternoon uh, exercise with Winnie the Pooh. He looks happy today, doesn't he? All right, here we go. It was a sparkling morning in the hundred acre wood, the sort of day that makes a Pooh bear want to say hello to the sun the birds in the trees, and especially to the honeypot waiting in the cupboard. As he tumbled out of bed, Winnie the Pooh remembered that a grand and wonderful thing was going to happen on this very day. But being a bear of very little brain, Pooh could not remember what. Perhaps a mouthful of something golden and sweet would help, he said to himself. I bet golden and sweet means honey, doesn't it? I might have to share that with you later as one of those good treats that you can use while you're there at home, sitting on the couch. Although the honey was yummy in Pooh's tummy, it did nothing to jog his memory. So Pooh decided to call on Piglet. Perhaps Piglet would know what grand and wonderful thing to expect. On his way, Pooh sang to himself to keep himself company. How nice it is to be able to say, even when you don't know what, that something grand will happen today, the wonderful thing that you forgot. Oh, a grand and wonderful thing will happen today. Rum tiddly tiddly tum. I love that little saying he has, that rum tiddly tiddly tum. Maybe if I had a, a bigger brain, I could say uh, those kinds of things too. I think Pig, uh, Pooh has a bigger brain he really thinks he does. Pooh's song ended just as he got to Piglet's house. He knocked, knocked, knocked on the door. Surely three knocks would be enough. Pooh thought to himself, but he knocked once more for good measure. No one was home. Maybe Piglet was gone to visit Rabbit, said Pooh. Pooh knocked three times at Rabbit's door, then three more times in case Piglet was there. But there was no one home to say, hello, Pooh. We were hoping you would come along, or better still, hello, Pooh. We've been saving a little something for you just in case. Oh my, no rabbit, no piglet. Let's see what happens next. Dear, dear, muttered Pooh, scratching his head. Something grand and wonderful will happen today, but no one will know it but me. Things are always so much more grand and wonderful when your friends are there to share them, I always say. Remember that. Things are always more grand and wonderful when your friends are there to share them. Hope you have good friends to share those things with those memories we've been talking about, right? So Pooh Bear continued to the sandy pit, he was hoping to find Roo playing there, with Kanga watching over him, but when he arrived, there was no Kanga and no Roo. I know, thought Pooh, Kanga and Roo are probably sharing a tasty little something to tide them over until lunch. If that's the case, company will be just the thing. I just now remembered, I bet Pooh Bear, as much as he likes honey, would love to have one of my honey buns, wouldn't he? <laughs> All right, when there was no answer at Kanga and Roo's either, Pooh did not know what to think. Suddenly he saw a bouncing something ahead. Pooh hoped that it would be his good friend, Tigger. But the bouncing something turned out to be nothing more than some leaves swept by a breeze. By the time he got to Owl's treehouse, Pooh's tummy was beginning to grumble. Please, oh please, let Owl be home, chanted Pooh as he knocked on the door and rang the bell at the same time. But by now, Pooh was really not surprised to find there was no one at Owl's house either. I wonder where all of Pooh's buddies were. If they're all not at their houses, where do you think they might be? Maybe we'll find out here in the next few pages. Now, this was quite a lot of disappointment for one bear in one day, but Pooh refused to give up hope. There's a good uh, thing for you to remember. Refused to give up 
hope. Always hopeful. Remember? Hope. There we go. He kept on walking until he arrived at the rather sad and boggy place where Eeyore lived. Now, I have to say, Eeyore is my favorite. Eeyore! Eeyore! Like that little donkey bray? Eeyore called Pooh. Oh, Eeyore, where are you? But the little donkey did not answer. Bother. That's the first time he said bother. I love it when he says that. Bother, cried Pooh. What if instead of something grand and wonderful, something entirely different is about to happen today? Something sad and gloomy, uh, for instance. What if everyone knows it but me? I'd, I'd better go to Christopher Robin's house at once. He'll know exactly what to do. Who hurried through the hundred acre wood, up steep slopes, over a rocky stream. Thoughts of blustery days and a honey raid by heffalumps and woozles filled his head. Uh, he found Christopher. By the time Pooh arrived at Christopher Robin's house, he had become quite upset. Too upset to notice the colorful banner and balloons all about the yard. Christopher Robin, a sad and gloomy thing is about to happen. Pooh sputtered. Yeah, I hope it hasn't happened already. <laughs> Just as Pooh was relating his worries to Christopher Robin, Piglet and Rabbit and all the rest popped up to shout, Happy birthday, Pooh! Look at all his buddies there. All right, they're all celebrating. Now we know where they were. You ever had a surprise party before? Those are so cool. Silly old bear, said Christopher Robin gently. Did you forget what day it is? I suppose I did, said Pooh, but I just remembered that no bear ever had such grand and wonderful friends. Of course, the honey cake with Pooh's name on it turned out to be rather grand and wonderful too. That honey cake looks really, really good to me. I remember uh, when uh, Ms. Martin, one of our teachers here, makes a an actual honey bun cake. It is delicious. It looks very much like the one Pooh's about to eat there. He had a great picture of him and all of his friends. I think these are great memories for Pooh too, aren't they? Uh, the times he knocked on the door, found no one there. He kept working and looking and finally found all of his friends. And they were there waiting to celebrate his birthday with him. So you take that away today as someone who knows that he has friends. If you don't have friends, you remember you have to be a friend to have friends. So another lesson for you today. Remember again, sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Memories all week long. Remember Winnie the Pooh and the lesson he learned today. You have a great day today, and we'll see you again tomorrow for Storytime. Pleasant Pathways from Poppies is signing off for now.